Hi everyone, so guys in this video I am going to tell you how to create a single date picker in Power BI, okay? So guys I have imported uh, one data model that is employee data model in which we have a details of all the employee who got terminated at any time like uh, in this table employee details you can see we have a three columns first is regeneration region and employee ID and effective date like which employee has got terminated when so we have an analysis of terminated employee okay so what i want to do i want to see total count of terminated employee at any particular date not in the date range i want in the particular date so for that particular date we will have to create a single date picker this is this is a date picker but this is not a single date picker this is a uh, like selection range like date range date picker okay so for creating a single date picker we we will have to study two concept first concept is about slicer what uh, modification do we need in slicer and second is the what changes will be in the DAX like we will have to use treat as DAX function okay so let me explain each and every step so firstly what will uh, we need to do Firstly, open the filter span of slicer and then in the slicer, firstly select a top end and then select top, top by one and then this top end should be of earliest date, earliest date and then apply the filter. Now, what I will, what I am trying to do next is I have, I have uh, filter the date by top one of earliest date. Okay so in the slicer pane you can see there is a drop down option in the drop down select after option so what is this after doing after is selecting one particular date like when we will select let's say let me select 29th of jan 2021 so what is this doing it's selecting between 29th of jan to top in of earliest date okay now this is the uh, all modification in the date slicer second modification we need to do in the DAX expression so let me open the DAX expression so uh, yeah this is the my DAX expression in which uh, I am calculating the distinct count of employee ID so let me create another DAX in which I will use treat as DAX okay so uh, let me name this uh, measure as uh, uh, termination count at any date right termination count at any particular date so for that what i will have to do firstly i will have to create one variable so i am creating where mean equals to mean of dim calendar calendar date and second i am going to return uh, employee count okay so calculate uh, this measure employee count okay so employee count and then i am going to create a relationship okay so uh, let me first write a dax and then i will explain what is treat as doing okay so mean and then uh, dim calendar date now uh, yeah mean in the variable we will have to apply curly bracket so please remember these things if you are writing treat as or uh, use a relationship in that scenario if you are using variable then you need to apply curly bracket okay now what is this doing here firstly i am selecting minimum of dim calendar date okay after selecting mean of dim calendar date i am creating one dynamic relationship between mean mean of calendar dim calendar date select and dim calendar date it means that let's say here user had selected 29th of January so what this will do this DAX will do this DAX firstly this DAX will identify the minimum date so 29 I think 29 29th of Jan will be the minimum date only so this will create this tree as what treat as will do treat as will create a relationship on the this on the basis of this minimum date like on the 29th of Jan to 29th of dim calendar date and then it will count employee count like it will uh, fetch the data from this measure employee count measure okay 
so let me uh, put this measure in this analysis so uh, this yeah so here you can see that uh, i got only three details like at this date we uh, we can see that only three employee got terminated like uh, uh, this is the termination region of each employee so and also we are getting 000 so in there in this case we can apply filter as data should be greater than 0 okay so this should be greater than and then 0 0 and then apply filter okay now i think uh, we have created a single date picker so what we another things we need to do uh, just we need to disable this slider option so in the uh, in the uh, select this slicer and then here slider disable this slider option and one more thing uh, increase the font size of this uh, selection okay so let me increase this to 20 so uh, i think uh, a border value yeah we will have to increase in the value wall uh, value section so this should be 20 right so this is the 20 and one more thing uh, for disabling this uh, we can do we can insert any another button so let me uh, insert blank button and then blank i will paste this here okay and then this and then uh, let me formatting and then uh, background this should be let me do the background as a white okay so that this number can't be visible okay so in the style i think this would be in the uh, no this is not in this yeah we can fill now yeah let me fill white yeah i think uh, transparency should be zero yeah so i have filled this as a white and uh, yeah so uh, i think and also one more thing what we can do we can do like this so that this can't be visible yeah and also i think don't think this is required okay now so i think this is looking good and also you can adjust according to your requirement so i think this is the date single date picker so let me choose another date so uh, let me check on the november third so i think on third of november you can see we got only two employee who got terminated and let me verify this number so i have created uh, another page like same as of earlier earlier so here i have selected third of november so let me select here third of november 2021 okay so this is the december so november third and in the start date also i will have to select 3rd of november okay so uh, this is the november and then 3rd of november so yeah here you can see that we uh, we are also getting only two count like only two employee got terminated on this particular date so i think we have created the single date picker in this video so thank you guys thank you very much for watching this videos if you are new to this channel then please subscribe to my channel thank you guys